Hi guys, welcome back to the roaming field. Uh, it's been quite a few weeks since we've been in here. The weather put us off, had a lot of rain, then we had the snow, then we had the rain again, then we had the snow again. And you can see there's still a lot of puddles on here, but I had to get back on here before they started crop, putting no crop back into the field. So we'll be doing the usual in here, heading down to the little roaming patch, down the bottom corner there, uh, using the CTX 3030. Great machine for in here and the little six inch coil. Now that will get me amongst all the puddles as well as all amongst all the, the rubbish and junk that's in this field. So we'll catch up with you later and see how we get on. So let's get into the mud. Cheers guys. Well guys, with a few bits of rubbish so far, a bit of melted aluminium, but this is a nice tone on this one. Coming in about 11.32 uh, Showing us also a piece of iron down there as well You hear that double tone Let's give a dig and see what we've got down there Well, we'll try to get this one out live for you guys And a nice signal there And On the left of the screen Let's let pick the detector up and see what we've got out And we got them in there. That little clump. Nothing obvious. What we got here? Oh, give me a button. Yeah, definitely a button. Yeah, first little find. We got a little brass button. So, let's get this little hole filled in and carry on, see if we can get some more bits and pieces. Hi right, guys, been a bit quiet for the last quarter of an hour. We got a lovely tone here. Let's go and get the shovel, just put the detector down and Try and dig it out life for you. Put the detector back again. Like I said before, you just need three hands when you're doing this. I think it's a bit of rubbish dish there. Change hands. No, not in that one. Not in that one. It's done it again. I always disappear when you put the detector down. there. So, I have to get the probe out. Something tiny. Oh, look at that. That's a tiny little piece of lead. And it gave such a banging signal. That's the thing about this little six inch coil. It'll pick up all these tiny little bits for you. So, we'll get the whole fill in and hopefully we can find a bit better than this. Hi guys, here's another example of how good this CTX is with this little six inch coil on. Now, look at the size of that noise cancel button and that little bit of pewter that's next to it. Now you put the 6 inch coil on the CTX, you're not going to find, miss any cut quarters or anything like that, cut halves. It's an absolute little demon little coil this. 
So, let's get this little hole filled in and we'll get on to the next one. Hi guys, you can see from the screen there, right in the middle of our little Roman patch. Each one of those is a little Roman bronze or a Celtic coin or whatever I've had out here using the, the GPS sitting on the CTX and we just had our first little coin there. Came from about four inches down, got a nice little low rumble on the CTX in the headphones. So, we'll stay in the, right in the middle of this patch, see what else we can get out of here. Well guys, signals are very hard to come by this afternoon for some reason. But this one's a nice banging signal there. I'll just mark it and uh, get the spade. Sounds pretty good. I uh, don't think it's a Roman, it just seems a bit too clean for that. Normally the Romans come with a little spitty signals. Let's get the detector back again after the first shovel full, see what we got. And it's gone very quiet. Well, just have to switch the camera off, they uh, seem to have lost it. Well, we're back live again, it looks like it fell into the hole. It's definitely down there. Let's give them a, another little dig. Right, we'll give that a go now. Yeah, he's out of the hole now. And he's down in this little clump here. Change your hands again. Just wipe the find in front of the coil. Not on there. In there. Ah, there we go. There we go. Another little roaming. Oh, well, give a nice banging signal that one. So we'll get them in the find pouch, get the find point marked. Get on to the next one. Well, guys, got that little last little Roman just there. Got another piece of lead, another couple of steps, and we got another nice little Roman coin. Just there, coming at twelve oh eight. So. Back with a little hot patch again, hopefully. So we'll get that hole filled in and get onto the. Well, guys, got another little find out of this patch. Could be another little Roman. Look likes it. Uh, definitely coin shaped. Yeah, another little Roman out the little coin ball there. Let's see if there's anything on the back and just prise it off. No. Don't want to do too much damage to it, but looks like a nice lot of features on that one. So I'll get that in the fines pouch. I think I'll do a concentrate on this little area for a while. Somebody else having a bit of fun out in the winter sunshine. God, he really throws that plane around. I think he's going to still turn here. There he goes. All the way down again. Whoa, he's flipping out of there. See this guy a few times around here and he really throws the plane around. Another stall turn coming. There we go. Over he comes. Oh, 
Well guys, took another step after that little roaming and I just found the tiniest little bit of silver coin. I think it's off an old sixpence, so it's definitely a broken part of some coin. But that is a tiny little piece of silver. Well, look at the size of my thumb there, and I ain't got big thumbs. That's tiny. Well, it just shows the capabilities of the CTX with the little six inch coil on again. So, I'll try and get that identified with what's left of that coin. And have a look around and see if we can find the other part. Catch up with you later. Well guys, another little room in there. Uh, it's getting a bit dark now, so I think I'll be heading off home. Uh, I've got about another 50 yards till the end of the field. So, nice way to end on a little high there with a little Roman coin. So I'll catch up with you guys later at the finds review. Hi guys, I've taken this screenshot to show the, the finds from this season's hunt in the Roman field. Uh, we've got 48 finds that we plotted with the CTX. And it shows quite the, well, the concentration of finds in the middle of this field. Uh, we know there's a, a Roman road and a, a trackway going down the edge of this field. There's also the old medieval road, uh, which we're still to search properly, going down the middle of the field. Now, this is the accumulation of five hunts we had um, through the winter with the CTX 3030 and the six inch coil. And I'm quite pleased with the results. Uh, this GPS mapping system shows me the concentrations of where all the, the finds tend to be. And you can see from the middle of the picture there, you see the big concentration of Roman finds and the tailing out either side of it. So hopefully with this season out the way, uh, the crop will come through and looking forward to the harvest and getting back in there at the end of this year. So we'll just go on to the review now, showing the few little finds that we did get. And we'll catch up with you with the next hunt. With your pal Mal, handing you over to the review now. Hi guys, welcome to the review. Uh, strange afternoon we've just had. Very, very few signals. Um, don't know what's been going on with that field because normally you get quite a few bits and pieces out of there. So I'll just catch up with the, the finds that we got. We've got a bit of rubbish today. A uh, bit of aluminium, melted aluminium there. A few lot of bits and pieces, bits of lead. Not a lot of rubbish either. So it was very, very strange. Uh, as far as the finds is concerned, uh, we started off, I'll just show you the, the less better ones. We've got a, a harness for it, harness buckle there, uh, a couple of bu few buttons, a couple of washers and some bits of lead. And for the better finds, we got a few little Romans. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six little Romans and a tiny little sliver of the Victorian sixpence. So overall, uh, just over four hours searching, not really a lot to show for it. Uh, unfortunately, that's the last chance we can get into the Roman field now. Uh, as Brian just said, the, the crop's coming through, so we need to vacate the field and move on to the pasture now. So that was the last of my plough fields for the year. Uh, we've got an extended season this year, fortunately, because of the, uh, the bad weather. So I'll catch up with you on the next hunt. Sign off your, your pal mal. See you guys.